So the reason we went to Bennu is it looked like it was a very dark, low albedo, carbon rich asteroid. And we're interested in carbon because the stuff we're made of is, you know, carbon. We're all carbon based units. And so this was a chance to go back and look at some of the original carbon chemistry that made the planets and ultimately made life. And uh, we have found um, that uh, very primitive uh, carbon chemistry, even down to some basic amino acids that uh, make up the, the structure of proteins and, you know, essential for life. So, so we really have found sort of the holy grail ingredients of uh, uh, the origins of or the chemistry that can make life. Part of that was even expected, though, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, that, that, that's what we wanted to find. Um, and the important thing about bringing the sample is it was collected in space. It was stored in the vacuum of a capsule and then, you know, un retrieved in pristine laboratory con conditions. So we knew everything uh, organic that we we're measuring in this sample was intrinsic to the asteroid, to the space material itself. And uh, not something introduced because it, you know, the asteroid uh, meteorite landed in a pond or in the mud, and to pick pick it up out of the mud and get it to a lab and things like that. How does that compare to any other samples that we have from space? It turns out that um, this kind of uh, early carbon chemistry is extremely rare in the meteorites that we have on Earth because most of those it, it's not very strong material. And the Earth's atmosphere breaks it apart and incinerates it all the way down. And so it's very hard to collect this, uh, this these kind of samples in a free sample from space in a meteorite. And that's why going and get this, getting this kind of sample was really a scientific breakthrough. 